1.30 a.m., eh? It'll be fine, I'm sure. So I'm, like, pretty full up weight-wise, aren't I? <clears throat> New items. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I recall, I've even had to give Sarah some stuff to carry. But we can both just... The frames on this planet are just something special. Something special and something else. Huh. It's like specific spots it does it to. We can both go invisible now, yeah? As soon as she stops moving. Provided she ever stops moving. She'll stop moving eventually. Yeah, we are both invisible. You love to see- well, you love to not see it. I almost said you love to see it, but that would have been a falsehood. Is that the ship? That's the ship. That's a million miles away. Oh, actually, that's more than a million miles away. That's probably trillions of miles away. At least. Ooh. Oh, they're sleeping. Good. Fuck them. They're awful. I hope they get struck by lightning. Until death. I need, like, a little car, you know? I don't need one. It'd be nice to have, like, a little car. <clears throat> I don't know if there is one or not in this game. I don't, want, I don't want to be told either if there is. If you know, it's information you should withhold from me. I don't like knowing things. Is there another one? Of the awful ones, or is that one of the okay ones? We'll just play it. Well, fucking hell. Wait, I got new guns, didn't I? Also. This and that. Which is the modified drug beat I have no bullets for, so. I have seven, which is basically none. So that's kind of a boot point, but I will eventually. Those are the bad ones. Oh, it's one of these guys. He's dead, isn't he? Hallucinogen. I'm glad you're handling the messy work. <laughs> it's sad they killed him. I like the octomaggots. So are those like windmills, I guess? Probably. Some funky windmills. I wonder if that would work better or worse than like a regular windmill. I'm gonna be honest, don't know much about windmills. Other than like the, the sheer basics. All right, let's get out of this place. Let's let's go. Let's leave. It never stops raining here, evidently, which is like fine, but it would be miserable because it's negative ten degree rain. Which I guess would imply that it's not water either, would it? Because it was negative ten degrees. Here to unless degrees? no, but hi. Unless mm -hmm. it was like. Do you need something? Fucking hell, everybody superheated atmosphere and the water doesn't freeze along the way down because it was so hot to begin with. Although if it was superheated then it wouldn't even be liquid water. So no, it can't even be water at the rain. It's got to be something else. That does not freeze at negative 10. Off initiated, Captain. Time to into that beautiful sky. Sure is, Barry. Sure is. Charging over there. It's fine. It can stay over there. I don't need it. Orbital insertion done. Time to dance among the stars. Who's this? Grandma. I hate talking on this. Hello, stranger. Too much. I just finished cooking just up some come food. Come on over. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Okay. This seems just so so trap-like that I can't really resist doing it. 
Hey, Grandma. She said she cooked something, right? Maybe she could teach me some recipes. That'd be nice. Reginald's somewhat of a chef himself. Time to cycle the airlock and move. Barrett, you're impatient. You keep this impatience up, you're, you're off the ship, pal. I'm not gonna tell you twice. I'm kidding, Barrett. It's always up when you dock, you're up. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. Okay. She laid out some pants. A deck of cards. Some Canuck Shepherd. Shepherd's pie! Shepherd's pie rocks. Grandma rocks. Yo, Grandma, where are you? Where are you, Miss B? This is quite strange. That door doesn't open. I should have knocked first. That would have been awkward. That would have been hella awkward. Can I close the, the damn... There we go. Is this... What's up here? Just walked by the ladder without even looking at it. Hi! How do I... Hello. Well, hello. Was hoping you'd drop by. The worst part of space travel is having to eat alone. I used to eat with my better half every meal until he passed. I've got plenty. I hope you're hungry. Starving. It's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. My oh my, so formal. It is a particular pleasure to meet you, my good sir. I finally retired last year, and I've been traveling all over. I wish I could have done this when I was younger, but it's still a treat. My grandkids are mortified that I'm out here. Positively livid. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the characters I've encountered. Well, you seem pretty trusting. What's the strangest thing you've encountered? I invited this one fellow over for a meal, like yourself. So he boards the ship, stark naked. <laughs> Turns out he was one of them old-style nudists. He said, in space, no one ever knew. But Lord knows I noticed. I find that space tends to attract eccentric personalities. Don't you know it. So, what do you think of the settled systems? Well, I, I can't believe there are so many stars, planets, moons, and whatnot. It makes my head spin just thinking of it. I love it. There's more to see than you can in a single lifetime. Ain't that the truth? I'm afraid I'm worn out, dear heart. I'm at the tail end of a very long day. But feel free to grab some extra food or whatnot. I've got plenty. That's mighty kind of you, Grandma. Thank you. What's she writing? I'm snooping. I have to snoop. Hmm. Probably something about I miss and then whatever her husband's name is. That's very sad. That's quite sad. It's a cool desktop fish. But oh, of course she has a wooden duck. She's a grandmother. Wooden ducks rock, though, to be honest. Game piece. Is there a game in this world? Aw, it's a little donkey. I bet one of her grandkids made that for her. Well, I don't want to seem mean. Or rude, so I'll take something. We'll take the meatloaf. Thank you. Simple game mat. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know how you'd play that. History of Xenobiology. I don't want to steal it from her, so I won't take it. Grandma, I'm checking your, up, your upper deck here. Just curious. This is a cool ass ship. Dude, this ship rocks. Look at this. Could you be part of Grandma's crew? Bumming around.
I won't take the I took the meatloaf. I won't take the shepherd's pie. We'll, we'll stick with a with a with one meal from Grandma, and we'll appreciate it. That was nice. That was cool. That was neat. You guys should have come. Captain. I'm sure she'd have been happy to see you. I'm glad we met Grandma. Well, that wasn't the right button, was it, Reginald? Just check to see if you guys were ready. Reginald makes no mistakes. I hope uh, Grandma doesn't get blown to hell by uh, raiders. You know? She might slam right the hell into the... Oh, no, she's not okay. She might run into that one, though. She might run into that one, though. Was she... Ooh. She figured it out. Narrowly, but she figured it out. Proud of her. Okay, where the hell am I going? Where the hell am I going? This way. Flying feels so good in this game. Like, they really nailed the ships. Alright, where are we heading? Back to Galaxy. Going to Alpha Centauri. Really, it's a lot of systems. Just so many. That are really high level, too, I'm sure. See, level 70, good lord. Can we really just go all the way there from here? I think we could. I am curious to explore a little bit more of Jemison, honestly. Is there anything else on the planet? I mean, I guess I could just land wherever, can I? Yeah, I could. It's interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop off the stuff to lodge first. Then I might just do a little bit of a bum around Jemison too. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm a curious man. That's a cool screenshot. I don't remember taking that one. Maybe I didn't. I wonder how much like what percentage of the systems you can go to are United Colony systems and how many are just their own thing, you know? Or somebody else's. I can't think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. Me neither. I am at your service, Captain. You were worried. They were worried. You too. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. You're pretty cool, Mateo, but you don't have the original touch. Can't they? They're embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? Definitely good. Which leads where you follow? A couple of scans from the eye. But it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? That effects really are something else. I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? I'm definitely with you, my friend. Like, I like science and stuff, and I think that's necessary. But we wouldn't get to the science part if we didn't have the dreams and aspirations exactly. to get to it. We can't forget what really makes us human. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. Hey, fuck you. Dreams are wonderful, but they don't pay for Helium-3. Constellation's bank account can attest to that. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. 
But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Thank you for yours. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, uh, yeah. pulling like some interesting data from those new artifacts. No. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. But it was not Just necessary. We succeeded. <laughs> we'll take a little nap. I go this way. No, I can't. What? Oh no, game it. Well, I guess I, I've never seen what's up here. I should see what's up here. A nice little deck. Oh, hi. Oh, are you my companion now? Okay, well. I mean, you're cool. And, like, you'll be my companion at some Nothing point. Else. But... Constellation does have excellent lodging. Oh, there she go. Probably in here, eh? Who the hell are you? You're Walter, eh? Yeah. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. Pete, appreciate hearing you say that. Where the hell did she go? In my room, right? Yeah. I've lost my friend. I don't know what room's hers. Couldn't tell you. That's the bathroom room. I probably walked by her, just not even noticed, eh? Mm -hmm. I heard her. Unless that was it's I don't been think quieter it. around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. I imagine. It's a whole less person. To make I noise. You are satisfied with the quarters available I am. To you. Thanks, Vasco. You've asked that a lot. But it's always been true. I have been. Hi. Something you need? Always. Point the way and we'll be off. Ms. Morgan, I shall be here if you need me. It's actually comforting to know that, Andresia. Thank you. Hmm? Yes. Can I cook anything yet? I can. Dude. Okay, before I do, before I do, I'm going to a research station to see if I any of these ingredients can be used to research. In which case, I will do that first. Sorry for running around, everybody. I'm excited. Sorry for the loud footsteps. I'm very disruptive in here. I've been looking at how this works all wrong. I do actually have some of these, and I probably have often. It's okay. Well, I have plenty of fiber, may as well. Yeah. Stick the old fiber in there. Oh, I just auto completed the whole thing. Well, hell. Look at me. I would like to do this as well. I don't have enough for all of it. How? Well, that. I've got something that reduces what it takes by 10%, right? Which is not going to be helpful with this, really. So let's just. Look at the man. He's just on a tear. You know, I forgot to put stuff in my ship, didn't I? What irony. Decoration. Interesting. I'll look at that stuff more when it comes time. Once I know I need to do it, then I'll look at it, you know? I probably don't have any... enough to cook it. I do! Look at me. I can make meatloaf. 
8 health plus 902 for 10 minutes. That's 8 health is still... So I guess the health is not really the big gain of this stuff. It's the... It's the, the bonus. With the energy resistance there. The damage resistance here seems pretty pretty okay. I'll make a couple alien scrambles. We'll be certain to put that to good use. I'd think so. I'd think so. And you know what? I'm gonna make a... Uh... Make one of these. And we'll make some uh, alien teas. And by some I mean one. An alien tea. Ooh, drugs. Can I make any drugs? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to interrupt what you were doing. Do the one second, and then you can go right back to it. I can make drugs. I can't make amp, though, and that's, like, the drug I like. That's the good drug. So. I bet there's a skill that lets me do that, though, eh? Nope, oh, wrong button, Drew. How the hell do I get to my skills? Skills. Ah, uh, science. Botany? No. Chemistry. Almost certainly chemistry, eh? Yes. Hold on. That'll be a while. That'll be a minute. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Sure am. And you must be Samco, the free star collective expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Coraco, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi, Cora. Good to meet you, Nice Laura. to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two <laughs> about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Briefly. Only that it was Free Star Collective Space. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. First settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing artifact. Okay. Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Reginald was born not an asshole. Give me one moment, hurts. my friend. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Hi. You good to go yet? I'm ready. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Okay. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. That sounds fine. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit cramped, guys. But only till we get there, then it'll be fine. Yo, sir, I got some stuff to sell. But I can do that right by the ship. It'll be fine. I always do this. I always go the wrong way. We got a we got a muscle memory this way, where it's gonna keep happening. Style among the stars. I like that Reginald kind of just runs like a kid, you know? He's got a very childlike energy. With the way he goes around. I enjoy it. He's 
a very free spirit. What's this? You know, while I'm here too, I may look at uh, what it would cost to get some ship expansions. Just to get an idea, you know, of what I'm looking at. I'm feeling like I'm going to be needing around, like, north of six figures. Hey! Okay. hey. I'm going to sell you some stuff, what's going to happen here, pal. Some of those were, to be honest, or why I had them. Okay. Otherwise, I don't do I have any you no know, uh, spacesuits. Did I grab that to sell? It's not worth much. I guess none of these really compared to what I could have. Compared to what it says their value is. I grabbed that to sell for sure. I'm not sell the constellation one. Looks cool. Looks neat. I like it. We'll sell it. We'll sell it. I genuinely like the the suit that Reginald's wearing right now. It looks cool. Uh, I have a gun to sell. I think too. I replaced that with something, right? This. Yeah. Well, that could be particularly useful against something specific. Like if I was fighting something that I had to hit a lot of time, and for some reason was using that. I could sell that, but it's less than a well, it's less than one mass. What's what's really the point on it, you know? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a loop. Sure, how about it? Could also just buy a new ship instead of upgrading this one, you know. Upgrade ship. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. So I'm not looking for that stuff as much as the shipbuilder, I guess. If I'm going to be expanding it, add structural. Is that what I'm looking for? No habs. Okay. That's less than I thought it would be. A thousand is much less than I was thinking it would be. No, it's gonna decrease my mobility. So we're gonna have to. Okay. Mm hmm. What is this? What's what size is this? That's a two by one. Okay. Okay. Well, we've got our idea, and it's that it's going to be hard to tell until I've, I'm in the middle of doing it yet. Which really just means I should just get a lot of money set set back. Recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Hey, how are you? Where are you? Oh, pardon me. Was that your stomach or mine? <laughs> Baird's such a strange, strange duck. Hey, Dad. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. Ready for takeoff then? We didn't get to hear the last, the last line of the haiku, I don't Orbit think. Locked. Carrying us home. You there we go. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll copy down too. That's cute. You know how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet Eating Bunny.
Well, sure, you can see your throttle on the, the bottom... Bottom right there, that's interesting. Looks like how much you're throttling your ship. How daring voyage in the oceans of space. Welcome to Three Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Okay. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Do a planet with the scan. So we got nickel, water, aluminum, or aluminium if you like to say it wrong. What's this moon? Kodos. It's a cool moon name. I should go to Aquila City for now. All clear. Time to land this ship. Dang old dust storm. Southern. So do I take Sarah with me here too, or is it just Sam, Co, and Cora? I don't know. I don't know. Sarah's with me for now. 